Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Welcome back to my channel. I just want to start off this morning very, very early and just say thank you so much for the love I've been receiving so far. It's been a challenging week for me. Um, I'm up really, really early. I'm quiet right now because I may get something to eat and stuff. I'm sorry if I look crazy. But um, I'm Talad. Welcome to my channel. And uh, it's Saturday morning in the shelter. Um, and, well, I said everybody sleep. Chad's sleep right now. I'm making some eggs. I was thinking um, while it's early, I want to make something to eat. So I'm going to make some egg salad for lunch. And uh, a couple boiled eggs for breakfast. And then um, whatever I make later on. Because it's dumb early right now. So I'm just making breakfast for um not breakfast, I'm making our lunch early because I just woke up and said I want a boiled egg. I don't know why. I don't even eat boiled eggs. But again, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the channel. Again, my name is Talat, and I hope everybody's having a blessed, blessed Saturday. You want to see my husband? Good morning, everybody. Um, I felt so compelled to get on the channel this morning and just say good morning and thank you, everybody, for the love. Somebody else wants to say good morning. Say good morning, thank you. Yeah, um, well, right now, if you're in New York, it's a pretty gloomy day out. But that's nonetheless. Oh, snap, it's actually raining now. I thought it was just cloudy. Oh, hell to the no. I just woke up. I didn't brush my teeth. I didn't do anything like that. So I just wanted to come and say good morning. And um, I wanted to show my little friend, Britlin, standing. Hello, Britlin. Good morning. I have an incredible subscriber out there. Her daughter's name is Britlin. And she told me that she loves when she sees Stanley. Hello, Britlin. How are you today? And um, it just warms my heart when I hear my subscribers out there just say how much they love something or they appreciate something. So this is my way of appreciation. And um, she has another daughter, Liliana. Hello, Liliana. I appreciate you so much. And I love the artwork on the wall. She put on her wall, I'm an irresistible magnet for all that belongs to me by divine right. And that made me feel so good hearing those words. Well, hearing that somebody used the words to their advantage because I, I feel manifestation is really real because if you sit there and look at where you're at in life, it's because of you and your mindset. Wherever, wherever you are, it's because you placed yourself there, good, bad, or indifferent. So I just look at that and say, you know, we got to say we're we're magnets you know we're track we're attracting everything that's great out there we're attracting everything that's wonderful out there so <sighs> guys it's been a hard week for your girl it's been a hard week um it's, it hasn't been a hard week it's been a challenging week you know a lot of people don't like change and when change comes it throws them off so I guess maybe the change with everything going on with my job threw me off a little bit. Um, like I said, today's Saturday. I have nothing planned today, and I feel great about that. Um, I'm going to show you guys my hair, not what I did to it the, earlier in the week. I uh, let it rest from having the braids in for so long and combing out my natural hair. So what I'm going to do, well, what I've been doing is just letting my hair breathe and just relax. Wednesday or Thursday, I'm going to get my hair done. So this is my natural hair right here. Yeah, I, see, I got a little length to me. I got a little length. I got a little some, some. So, yeah, I put my hair in these little twisty things, whatever you want to call them, just to keep the hair together while I keep it under the wig or whatever. That's just the um the gel from the wig that got to be that I put on my hair. Line. But, yeah, that's my hair. I know how to corn roll and stuff like that. It's just... um. Put my nails on it makes it harder. I see baby over there sleeping. He knocked out. I mean, damn, you didn't even take a warning or nothing. <laughs> Bitch, you sleep, you sleep, you know. But um again, I just need to shout out Liliana, 
thank you for watching the channel. Britlin, if that's how you say your name, I hope I said it right. I thank you guys and your mama, first of all, Stala. Thank you. Thank you for being a supporter. Um, I was talking to this, this young lady last night. I think her name is Leone. And shout out to you. It's a wonderful young lady. She said she lived in the Bronx. She said, you know, she may have some clothes for me and things of that nature. And it just feels so good for people to reach out to a complete stranger like me. Like, nobody knows me. Nobody knows anything about me. The only thing that you know is what I tell you. So, for me to get the type of reaction that I'm getting, it just assures me that I'm doing something good, you know? Hot Delight, Circa, Leona, the young lady I was emailing last night, Leone. I mean, if I forget your name, I mean, Unc, you know who you are. Please forgive me if I forget your name right this moment, but you know who you are. You know who you are. You know who you are. You know who you are in the comments. You know who you are when you're looking at it. And I just wanted to take this moment to say thank you so much for making this this woman feel like somebody. You know, I was telling God, like, wow, I don't deserve for people to tell me I'm, I'm motivating them or I make them feel better or those things like that. That's a liberating feeling for me, knowing that I'm making somebody feel great or motivated or feel like I'm not going, they're going through the same things. It just, it's a confusing feeling. Like I never thought I'd be put in a position where somebody can tell me I'm motivating them. I never would have thought that for till I, ever in my life. And for me to be having that experience, it's, it's surreal. And I just, I had to come this morning and give thanks because if you don't give thanks, you lose insight of what it is you're doing. And I know that I'm doing this because I just know there's people out there that's going through something similar to what I'm going through. And it doesn't necessarily have to be somebody's watching for the struggle or because I'm in the shelter or because I messed up. There's people out there that just like watching people go through things or just like me and nosy, whatever have you. And um, some of my subscribers aren't even homeless. So I'm... I'm attracting a wide range of people, and I love that, and I love that you guys are subscribing. I love that you guys are commenting because it's a community here, and all I'm trying to do is grow, you know? I know a lot of people, like, get monetized, and, you know, you can make your money from it, but I just feel like I, I love when I would love for those things to come. I mean, YouTube, for me, is not a job. YouTube, for me, is a hobby I love doing it but it would be nice to get paid but that's not what I'm in it for I just love picking up the camera and knowing now more so than ever that somebody out there may be going through the same thing or just something so little like a little girl is watching because she sees my bear that that's what it's for but when the times come for me to get monetized God's will it, it comes you know what I'm saying uh, Listen, 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 I'll tell you this. I get monetized. I'm going to tell my job, please, out. No, <laughs> I ain't going to say that. But a um, little update. Um, Thursday and Friday, I made the video. I'm not sure. I think it was Thursday. But um, whatever happened, went to work. I flipped it. I had to tell myself, don't let it get to you. Stay positive. God does everything for a reason. So... I made a little game with myself, so I figured since they giving her my work and she taking the work that I did, and the only thing I did up in there, I was like, to let flip it on it. When she bring over the work, act like you the boss or something. So I was like, oh, okay, you brought the work over to me. Let me check in and make sure it's safe and make sure it's good so the boss doesn't come back and if there's any issues, okay? So I'll let you know if everything is up to up and if there's any mistakes. Thank you. I wasn't mean. I wasn't condescending. I, I wasn't anything like that. I just... I was professional and I played my part because I said to myself, how can I make this benefit to let? How can I make my day here better without really thinking about they took my work away, they demeaned me, they're diminishing my value. I didn't want to make it seem like that was what was happening when it really was because I feel like you take my work away, you're diminishing my value, you're diminishing my character here. If this is what I was hired for, if this is what you put for your... um your job ad and this is what I said okay this is what I want to do and I got hired for that I just didn't understand why my work was just allocated to somebody else but it's neither here nor there I flipped it I bossed up and I was like oh you brought the work over to me thank you <laughs> 
But yeah, that's what I did. And um, when it's all said and done, God is good. And whatever he has for me, he has for me. You know, you get comfortable in these positions and you forget that it, it, you want to be excelling because I'm going to keep it a buck with you guys. I'm going to keep it all the way 100, okay? The position that I'm at now, there's no growth. There's no growth. I would never be a manager. I would never be a supervisor. I would never be nothing of value there because the people that are in those positions, they've been there for 17 years and 15 years, and there's no positions like that. You got your your account payable, accounts receivable. You got the janitor dude, and then you got the controller, and then you got the boss. So they're not making no new positions or anything. So I'm sitting here saying, I'm giving this job my all when in five years, if I'm going to be here, I'm going to still be sitting at the same exact desk doing the same thing, maybe with a dollar or two more. So they're not going to get my all. They're not going to get all of Talat. How dare me even stoop to that low to let somebody see me down. Like I had to straighten up like, oh, hell no. Y'all not going to get the best of Talat. I've been through hell and back. The job ain't going to define me. Mm -mm. And the only reason why I'm letting it define me is because it just was taken away from me. And I just feel like right now in my present situation, things being taken away from me is just a little sensitive topic. But you know what? I came home. I prayed because praying is everything. Got to give God his glory and you got to give you got to give God his props. You know what I'm saying? If if it's not if it wasn't for him, where would we be? Where would I be? So he told me, don't worry about it. He told me, be strong. I got something for you. Look what you do. Look what you do. You see him up here on the damn table? Yeah, I see the backward pack. Yeah, Chad's sleep. I can't roll up with my nails. So I, got no, I thought I'd make a video and wake up. And he'd be like, hey, good morning, baby. You see that lump right there? That lump right there. That's Chad. But, yeah, I don't want to take up too much of you guys' time. I just wanted to come this morning and um, show some love. I, I just wanted to take the time out to just show some love to say Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone out there that subscribed to us. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone that's left a message. Thank you to anybody that's ever sent us money on the Cash App or PayPal. Thank you for everything you've done. Just in case you didn't get that, I leave the PayPal and Cash App information in all the videos. Just like I leave the Facebook information, I leave Instagram. All the information is always in the description box below, just in case. But anyways, I'm about to go check on these eggs with Stanley and my cat. So this is what I do in the morning time. But usually, um, before I do anything really crazy, I get my Bible and I do my verse of the day and stuff. Let's see what Chad's doing. Ain't nobody sleeping that damn hard. Let's take a look outside again, guys. This is what the Bronx, New York looks like. If you're not from New York, this is the Bronx Grand Concourse in the morning time. I don't know if you can see down the block right there, but I got a Dunkin' Donuts right there. I got a Planet Fitness right there. And, um... Yeah, the beauty supply store that I go to is right across the street. The bodega that I go to is right across the street. Chad usually hops over this, like, gate in the partition in the middle of the highway. It, well, the street, actually. He hops right over there and goes right to the corner store across the street. So, yeah. That's really it, guys. I hope the video is not too, too dark. And, again, I just wanted to come this morning. We'll be back again. I'm going to make another video, but this is just my appreciation video. Bye, Britlin. I hope you have a wonderful day. And if anybody's wondering, again, that's my young follower. She's four years old, and she just loves Stanley. And, um, yeah, I hope, I'm just glad I can brighten up somebody's day. And Liliana, you did an amazing job with the artwork. You did an amazing job. And if anybody else is wondering, it's I'm an irresistible magnet for all that belongs to me by divine right. And that's what this young lady put on her wall. She is going to be amazing and awesome. Because I do believe what you feed your mind, it comes to fruition. So, with that being said, everybody, everybody have a happy
your Saturday. Don't forget to like, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Oh, excuse me. Let me show you my hair again while I don't have to hold the phone. Yeah, see my hair? Just in case anybody's asking. That's my real hair. But yeah, got a little bit of edges. Because you know how there be some haters. I know I got a lot of love in my comments. The bitches be like, oh, you ain't got no hair. You ain't got no <laughs> It's too high for 8 o'clock in the morning. But I love you guys so much. Again, don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the videos. Don't forget to share. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Subscribe. Join the family. You won't regret it. We only up from here. If you go look at my videos from months ago, you can just see the change in me. The progression, the growth, and I'm just trying to go further than this, okay? And um, subscribe, you know, you won't regret it. Go click the YouTube channel, it's The Richards, T H E I, no, T H E R I C H R D S. I don't know if I spelled that right, but I'll put it right here at the bottom. Yeah, follow us around. Um, I haven't posted any pictures because I need to get my hair done and stuff like that, but it's a couple little pictures there. But we growing, we're doing what we can do. I just came over here to chat, show some love again. I love all you guys so, so much. You don't understand. <sighs> Every time I hear you motivate me, you, you inspire me. You don't know what y'all do to me. And I thank you so much, okay? Y'all enjoy y'all Saturday wherever you are. Stay warm, stay blessed, stay amazing, stay strong. And just know you got a new friend in Tillet and Stanley. I love you guys so much. Again, have a great day. And I'll see y'all when I see y'all. I'll probably be back with Chad. All right.